Hello everyone, today we have uh, 2012 BMW. Uh, after resetting the airbag, we have some fault and the, uh, we have the airbag light on. So we're gonna go ahead and scan it. And uh, as usual, we're gonna do a quick fix. So that's the car, 2012, you're next. The ignition, I already did that. Okay. So we don't have to wait the 10 seconds. So we reset the airbag module after the crash. And I'm wonder why we have the, the airbag light on. So let's wait for the scan to, to load the vehicle data. And uh, we'll look at the fault. And uh, yeah, it takes like sometime a few seconds. All right, so it's loading the module, transmission, EDC, anti lock. Anti-theft, 60%, 80%, 80%. Uh, rain light. All right, so uh, we're not gonna do the complete scan. We're gonna do um, system selection. And then you're gonna have airbag belong to the body module. All right, and okay, airbag. Okay, so airbag. It's good to have usually the the coding index and stuff like that, and diagnose index, at very variant index. So by the way, uh, there's something on the side to know. Any time that you need variant index and you need to replace a module or something, and instead you go to the dealer and you, you pay for this uh, index number, go ahead and take a snapshot with your uh, phone, like what we do in the Hyundai and uh, Kia for the variant coding. So anytime you're gonna replace the module, make sure you get this number before from the old one. So this, this number gonna save you some money. Instead you have to go to the dealer or go to the BMW website and have online account so make sure you, res you get this number because when you try to, to get the second one, it's gonna request some of these numbers. So you have it already for free with your scan tool. So go ahead and get this number or get a screenshot. So when you replace the module, you, you're ready to go. You don't have to go to the dealer and waste your money and pay, you know, and let the customer pay a little bit more. So, okay, so uh, we have this and we hit confirm. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, read fault code. All right, so we have 93D4, which is the crash history, and we already reset that. So let's focus for what is current. Uh, current airbag, driver module, safety current, retractor and pre-tensioner. All right, so. All right, let's go back and clear fault code. Airbag fault code completed. Let's see what we have else. All right, so now we have the belt tensioner and uh, retractor tensioner and the safety terminal. So let's take one by one first. 93B2, which is about like, Anyway, so that's the, it's a battery terminal like what we did before with the other BMW in the other videos But let me show it to you very quick uh, Save you some time So safety battery terminal does every time you're gonna hit you're gonna get hit or you're gonna have a crash I have a feeling because after when I replace it, I, I know so You're gonna open your trunk from this right here and the OBD close to the C pillar to the driver lift pillar and that's how you open the, you know, the trunk. The car. Open it. And you're going to have 
this connector right here either you can even either you you change all this from the second connector right here this piece you can buy it i prefer brand new or you can go ahead and uh, that's the connector that's uh, reading the airbag so anytime you're gonna have a hit from the back this will be disconnected and you're gonna have battery terminal safety so this connector right here is like the seat belt tensioner so either you you cannot open it and push it because it's not serviceable i tried to fix it before it worked for a little bit and uh, disconnected after uh, two weeks or so so anyway uh, this piece right here is responsible for the safety battery terminal that's uh, right here either you get this one off and you change this like uh, maybe four foot this one is connected all the way back to the main connector so, so this, this part is all right so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get this from here all the way to the same connector that go to the alternator so you're gonna it's like a, around three foot or four foot and depend about your car model this one is the uh, comfort portable 328 two door so this is gonna be shorter than the other ones so right here guys okay so let's go to the second one and if you want to test it take this one off and replace our resistor that we did in the other videos right here so just to make sure this uh, that's the right one all right All right, so retractor tensioner, belt tensioner. So the retractor and the belt tensioner, left and the driver. Right here, I take this one off because I know, I know I will need it. So. So you can have the, the belt tensioner from here see it's not even connected so that's for the seat that's for the airbag the seat airbag <clears throat> see we need to check this because uh, remember this car the seat belt and the seat itself is not in the pillar okay all right so it's gonna be the seat belt tensioner and the uh, retractor all right sure it's connected or not but we're gonna check it out so so we end up with the trees 9412 93a9 and 93b2 which is a battery and that's it all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll check uh, the wiring and the back of the seat for the seat belt right here so that's gonna be the burble a verbal socket I got another seat belt but this one is uh, for the four door not for the two doors because it doesn't doesn't have this so make sure if you work with a quick or a two door car make sure you get this piece with a seat belt so this one doesn't come with it so we're gonna go ahead and check this and check the pretension and that's it and uh, it was a quick fix thank you for watching thank you